place where they talk. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I know it has literally been so long, like my uploads have been so inconsistent and um, they've been so like sporadic. Um, yeah, so I apologise for that. Everything's just been really hectic um, and just finding time to film has just been a little bit difficult, but I'm determined to get back on track with it now. Um, I'm gonna aim to upload two videos a week, but I don't know like what days. I don't think I'll be able to commit to like set days just because everything is just a bit manic. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to upload two videos a week. So yeah, I do apologise for the lack of uploads, but hopefully that will change um, in the coming weeks. But anyway, thank you for clicking on my video. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and I produce um, mum content, vlogs and lifestyle content on YouTube and Instagram. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Um, so today's video is actually gonna be a July favourites because we're coming to the end of July and there's been loads of new stuff that I have really enjoyed using this month. And I just wanted to share all of those things with you guys. There is a mixture of stuff here. We have clothes, we have baby bits, we have um, some cleaning stuff, gaming. We've got like a mix of stuff um, that are my favourites from July. Um, I wanted to do this video as well because my Amazon must-haves video has done so well and so many of you said you really enjoyed that video. Um, so I thought I'd do like a little bit of a similar one with a bit of a spin on it. So these are my July favourites. Now, my first favourite is actually a clothing item. It is these racerback crop tops from Pretty Little Thing. Um, they are ribbed like that. Don't know if you can see that. Um, but they just look like this. They are racerback. And yeah, I am literally obsessed with these. I have been wearing these all the time in summer. Um, you can wear them on their own you can layer them up and they literally go with like everything like you can dress them up dress them down they go with whatever you put them in um so i have got these in this beige color i've got it in pink i've got it in black Oops, that way <laughs> um i've got it in black and then i've got it in white as well and these are literally lifesavers i wear them all the time um, and they're quite cheap as well. Um, I'll put on the screen how much they were because I can't remember exactly and I'll try and link them in the description as well. But these tops are just brilliant. Um, the only thing I will say is they are slightly see-through um, and they do come up quite small. So if you're going to order them, I would definitely suggest sizing up because um, I think the more, the the more they stretch, um, the more see-through they are. Um, so yeah, I would definitely size up in them. But yeah, they are literally a staple in my wardrobe at the moment. Like if you look through anything on my Instagram or anything of my, any of my social media, 90% of the time I'm wearing one of these, specifically the brown one. I just love that colour at the moment. And yeah, these are so, so good. Um, if you know me, you will know that I love my fake tan. I actually haven't got much on at the moment. It is actually fake tan night tonight. Um, but I'm obsessed with fake tan. I like fake tan all year round through summer, winter, you name it. And I've tried like every single fake tan. Like I've tried Saint Moritz, Saint Tropez, Bondo Sands, Molly May, um, all that, literally like every tan possible, I have tried it. And I've never really found one that has kind of ticked every box. Um, so St. Moritz I just found come off as soon as I washed it off. Bondi Sands just made me look like a bit of tiger bread and it was too difficult to get off and it was really expensive. Um, same with Molly May, like it was a really good tan, um, the filter one, but I just, yeah, it was very, very expensive. It's like £20 a bottle and when I'm fake tanning like every week, I was getting through like a bottle every two and a half weeks and £20 spend on tan like every two and a half weeks was a bit excessive. So I really wanted to find a really good tan that I really liked, but I wanted a slightly cheaper option. And because of cheerleading as well, I needed one that was dark. Like I love my tan dark, the oranger, the darker, the better, like I'm obsessed. And I actually saw this one in B&M and it's called the Anovia Tantalize um, Tanning Mousse. And I've got it in the shade dark. It just looks like this. This is literally the B&M version of um, the Tanologist Tan. 
and it is so cheap i think it's like 3.99 um it's like the cheapest tan i've ever used and it's actually clear so when you put it on it's like a white foam and it goes on clear and then overnight um or over a period of like six hours it develops and oh my gosh the color of this is absolutely unreal it stays on for about a week week and a half depending on like how well i've like scrubbed my previous tan off um and obviously i do moisturize during the week as well but oh my god this is so good and it hasn't dried my skin out at all it's actually quite moisturizing um and also it doesn't smell of biscuits it actually smells really really nice and yeah it's only 3.99 and the color is absolutely amazing i'm obsessed so if you want a tan go to b&m grab this one they also do it in light medium and i think they do extra dark so so good so to go along with that this is another like tanning kind of item um i've used this for a while actually but because i had this tan in my video i just thought i might as well show this as well um so i personally don't like to fake tan my face with actual fake tan i just find it goes really patchy and it makes my skin feel really dry and it just feels a bit icky on my skin so i use the tanologist face and body drops in dark and it just looks like this um the only reason i've got the official tanologist version of this is because i don't believe they do a B and M version of it um but this stuff is so so good and it literally lasts so well um through summer especially i've been wearing it instead of wearing foundation so i put this on at night um it's just got a little um like droppy what's it called pipette like you know what i mean um and yeah i put this on every night before bed and it just gives my skin like a nice like warm tan to it um and it also hydrates my skin so it doesn't feel like all dry and patchy afterwards so yeah this definitely goes hand in hand with my new fake tan so the next thing we're going to look at is kind of like gaming stuff so the first favorite for july is monopoly deal just looks like this um so i don't know if you've any of you have played this but this game is literally so good um i bought it in tesco's i just picked it up randomly uh, because it was in the club card deal um like where you get discount if you have a club card and so i think it was like six pounds um me and carl really enjoy monopoly we've played it on the switch we've obviously played the board game but obviously them games can take like ages um and i saw a few people on my instagram playing this over summer and i just thought i'd give it a try and we are obsessed um, you can play a game in like 15 20 minutes um, and it's basically normal monopoly but instead of having the board it's all on cards and yeah it is so so good we got so many rounds of this in we've played it with summer as well um, and she really enjoyed it she got the hang of it really quick and yeah uh, you have two to five players and yeah play in, play in 15 minutes so so good definitely recommend also gaming wise if you know me you will know that I am, and I have no guilt in saying this, I am still obsessed with my Nintendo Switch, right? I bought it during the first lockdown with Animal Crossing, because when Animal Crossing came out, I used to be like a big Animal Crossing fan back in the day when it was on like Nintendo. And so when it came out on Nintendo Switch, I had to get a Switch just for that game. Like I was like, I have to get it. It's like really been my childhood. I am still obsessed to this day. Like two years later, I am still obsessed. So yeah, my fave for this month is Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. I, yeah, I am just obsessed. If you've played that game before, definitely get it. Um, if you haven't played it before, but you like games kind of like The Sims, you will definitely like Animal Crossing. Um, and yeah, you can only download it on the Switch. It's Switch exclusive. Um, I've also got the new OLED Switch, so it's a slightly bigger screen with white Joy-Cons and the graphics are a lot better because it's an OLED screen. Um, I used to have the like normal blue and white one, uh, but I actually gave that to Logan because he didn't have one, Noah had one, and Logan really wanted one, so I gave him mine um, and then I got this one. But yeah, it's just like my thing I do to relax. I really enjoy playing it. Um, there are other games I play on there as well, but Animal Crossing is just always going to be my favourite, I'm not going to lie. 
Next up, we have some baby bits. So my first favorite, and this is really, really boring, especially like if you don't have a baby, you're gonna literally get so bored me talking about these, but these bottles, oh my gosh. These are the MAM uh, bottles. They just look like this. Uh, we've got the pink ones. Um, so we have the Tommy Tippy bottles and we've had them ever since Autumn was born, the Tommy Tippy sterilizer and the Tommy Tippy prep machine. And we've just noticed like, it's now she's started on food and she's not having as many bottles having to like use the steriliser and wash up all these like we have literally so many Tommy Tippy bottles it's ridiculous um and having to put them in the steriliser and the steriliser taking as long as it does and having to have six before you put it in it's just been a little bit of hassle recently and because she's not needing a bottle like every two hours now um I just wanted something that was going to make my life a little bit easier especially with like having the other children here um, through the summer holidays for example everything is so busy like getting the bottles all sterilized sorting out the machine it was just yeah it was just hassle um and I actually met up with my friend um Goose the other day uh, for anyone that doesn't know her name isn't actually Goose it's her nickname um but I met up with her and her little boy and she had these bottles and she was saying how good they were so I wanted to try them um and they also have the same teats as the mam dummies um so it meant that there was no like confusion for autumn between a bottle and a dummy it kind of both helped to soothe her and i wish we had now bought these from the start tommy tippy no it's not the one anymore um these are so much better they self sterilize in the microwave within like three minutes they all come apart so they're much easier to clean and yeah autumn's taken to them and the teats so much better than the tommy tippy ones and now i don't have the hassle of filling up the sterilizer and having to descale it and all that stuff so yeah definitely recommend these if you are a mum or a mum to be um and you're bottle feeding or formula feeding get these over tommy tippy any day of the week so for those of you who don't know or haven't seen we are now weaning autumn because she is six and a half months old and the concept of weaning for me was really scary i've never done it before and i kind of didn't really know how it worked and i was feeling a little bit like apprehensive about it um and this lovely girl that i work with called emily recommended the ella's kitchen weaning pack uh, this is free on the ella's kitchen website i'll try and link it down below and it is literally amazing so it came through on the post i had to order it it was completely free um so you get coupons to spend in store so you've got like free stuff you've got 50p off one pound off so they give you coupons to spend in store you then get this really handy little weaning guide so it kind of tells you at what uh, month they can try different vegetables it's got some recipes in there um how to like mix it up what to put together what not all about allergies um and finger foods and choking and everything like that and it's all in this little book and it is so so good and it was so handy um especially being a first time mum and doing it for the first time this was like the perfect guide um of how to do it obviously every baby is different and every baby will be weaned differently but this is just what's really helped us the other thing that it came with is this weaning chart um, which has got loads of little tips on. You can put in what their favourite stuff is, how many times they've tried certain foods, pop their name at the top and then again on the back it's kind of got guides as to what they can have um, at each month of age and I've just found this so handy um, and we're going to stick this up in the kitchen and then we can keep track of kind of what she's eating, what she likes, what she doesn't like. And yeah, um, it's literally amazing. So again, if you are a mum or a mum-to-be and you're weaning or if you're weaning for the first time, definitely head over to the Ella's Kitchen website and uh, get your free weaning pack. Um, it is literally amazing and it's free. So why not? My final favourite for July um, in like my baby section is an app. And this app was recommended to me by somebody and I have now recommended it to so many other people. Um, it is absolutely incredible it is called huckleberry i will insert a picture of the app icon up here and this app is just amazing like it is so good um 
I did actually accidentally delete it. So none of the data is in here, which is really annoying. So I can't show you properly. Um, but basically you can track sleep, feed, solids, diaper change, diaper, nappy changes, pumping, medicine, growth, temperatures and activities. Um, so you can basically track them in the app. Um, and it also helps you create a schedule so you can put in what time your baby normally wakes up what time they normally go to bed or what time you'd like them to go to bed and then it basically creates a routine for the day um, so when they should nap how long they should nap for when they should be eating um, and yeah this app has been a lifesaver without this app we wouldn't have been able to get awesome into any kind of routine um, this has really helped us stick to it and the other thing that I found really helpful is it's very easy to forget when you fed them how much they ate, what time they had their medicine, how many nappies they've had. So having all that in here, especially if Autumn needs to go to the doctors and they say, oh, how many wet nappies has she had? I'm not going to remember that. So having it on here is so good and obviously it just saves days and days and days of it. So you can always look back and see if there's any patterns in things or if the schedule might need adjusting. And yeah i am literally obsessed with this app it's so good it is free to download on the app store and i believe on the android store but you do have to pay for like extra features and for like schedule creators and stuff so there is in-app purchases within it but i would say to get them like this app is honestly incredible i have recommended it to everybody i'm so sorry i feel like i literally rambled through that section um but yeah definitely get the huckleberry app if you haven't already my last july favorite is kind of like a cleaning organizational kind of thing and this is the mrs hinch the little book of lists um so for any of you who don't know who mrs hinch is have you been living under a rock um she is basically um from instagram and she posts videos of cleaning tips hacks and that's basically how she's um, created her name for herself and now she has like cleaning products out she has uh books she has notebooks she has like everything now she's absolutely incredible um and yeah this is the hinch book and this just helps me keep my life and the house and the kids so organized so in it you've got hinch lists which just look like this um, so you can put um, each day and what you've got to do each day and then tick them off. Uh, it's also got some ta-da lists which are for cleaning purposes. And then it's also got freshen up Friday lists which tells you what room and what you need to clean in that room on that day. And yeah, this book I would get so stressed and would not be organized about it like it literally keeps my life the house the kids the cleaning all in check um i know everything is in one place and it's laid out so nicely and yeah so if you haven't got this i would definitely recommend um i know you could probably use like a, a normal notebook but just having a preset list with preset tick boxes and stuff it just I don't know it's just satisfying to look at and it's just this really cute book and i've just found it really really handy so i think if you've got a family or you've got kids or you've got a very busy hectic life like us definitely get on this book it has helped us no end so guys that is all of today's favorites for the video i hope you've enjoyed it i've tried to like give a bit of a wide range of stuff um because i know not everyone has like that watches my channel has babies or children or whatever so i've tried to include like a broad range of stuff that i've really enjoyed this month if you guys like this video, please let me know by giving me a comment, a message or dropping a like on the video and I will more than happily do a video like this every month of my favourites if that is something you guys would like to see. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you know when I post a video and I will, as always all my social medias will be linked down below for you to go and follow me and keep up with my life on there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!